The iliotibial band, iliotibial tract, uh, called a few things, um, is one of those examples, a prime example of why sometimes the anatomy that we understand or the structures that we see in our books and, and things that we take for granted as being real are actually very, very different when uh, we look at the reality of the human form. So in all the literature that you'll see, um, in all the anatomy books, you'll see uh, the iliotibial band or iliotibial tract as, as defined um, and really clearly um, explained as this piece of tissue that runs sort of from the ilium uh, down to the tibia um, and includes an attachment of the gluteus maximus. And uh, it, it looks like there's no equivocation there's no doubt that this thing is there that it's real as a result what tends to happen is we end up with lots of uh, syndromes and um, stretches and treatments and things and people creating an idea that the, the reality of the of the tissue requires uh, an approach towards it now, um, there are some interesting things. There is a thickened band of fiber that runs down the outside of the leg. But one of the first things that I was really struck by when I did a, a dissection early on was that it wasn't there. It wasn't present. You opened the leg up and there was no iliotibial band. It didn't, it didn't jump out. And instead, what you en ended up having to do was to carve away something, sometimes quite arbitrarily, along a line that wasn't really defined in order to leave this bit of tissue behind. Now, one might think that that's relatively harmless, but actually the opposite is the case because what you're cutting through is a whole load of tissues that wrap themselves around the leg um, and that invest all the muscles of the leg and that are held in tension down one particular side. So the whole unit of the leg is dependent on this tissue that encases it. So to just leave that bit behind when you're portraying and displaying the muscles, it seems to me to be a little unhelpful um, and not very accurate if you're then trying to work out what might be going wrong. So the fibers that we look at of the iliotibial band and we think of as going up and down the leg, you know, from the ilium, from the pelvis down to the tibia, may be sort of long and straight. We can look at them and, and, and we can sometimes measure the, 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 the angles of them. But actually, if you look closely at them, we'll see that there's loads and loads of different directions that those fibers will go. And of course, they'll then blend into all the fibers that wrap around the leg. And then those fibers will also be the dividing structures that will separate and compartmentalize the muscles of the thigh, both at the back and the front. They all then in turn come down and join up to the central line of the femur. So all the fibers of the iliotibial band and the rest of the bag, which is referred to as the fascia lata, will attach eventually via uh, the compartments that separate the muscles onto the femur and become the periosteum of the femur. So what this requires is a completely different thinking process if we're going to describe the anatomy of the lower limb um, and particularly from the perspective of, of not trying to think of it from back to front or side or, or anything like that, but that all the tissues are intimately involved, if, if not from a functional perspective, and I th think they probably are, then certainly from a, uh, a collective perspective, from a perspective of them being held in place in, uh, along in, in the leg. So the thinking that we have of um, isolated structures and you know, the problems that we then might have with it seem to be um, exemplified in this <laughs> iliotibial band. And um, I think it's a problem. I see people doing foam rollers and stretching it and, and really considering that there's something that's um, individual and isolated about this tissue when in fact, um, it really, it really isn't. On the lower aspect of it, um, we can see again from, from our, our anatomy book pictures that it sort of runs down and stops somehow uh, onto the tibia, onto the lower limb. And again, nothing could be further from the truth. The, the, the whole of the tissues of the, of the fascia of the leg wrap themselves around and encase themselves across the top of the patella, underneath the patella, uh, around into the fascia of the tibia and the crural fascia and the front of the tibia, and you know, eventually become part of the, uh, the interosseous membrane. It's, it's really indivisible. And the only way you divide it is, is with a knife. So um, it's, it's an interesting, 
tissue, but it's more interesting from the perspective of how we've got to the naming of this part, which inherently isn't, isn't really there. This is the part where I have to uh, tell the Iceman story. Uh, my colleague John um, in America um, is an ice carver and he takes um, a chainsaws and he carves out the most amazing things um, out of blocks of ice. And I said to him once, it's incredible, how do you, you, know, how do you carve a, a swan out of a block of ice? And he said, very simply, um, I, uh, I, I take uh, the ice and I take a chainsaw and I cut away everything that doesn't look like a swan. And the analogy is useful and, and relevant here. How do we find an iliotibial band? We cut away everything that doesn't look like an iliotibial band and we leave the iliotibial band behind. But all the tissues that may contribute to anything as far as the function is concerned of, of the leg or the limb are, are, are eliminated and they're gone. The irony of it is, is that if you did that in a human, even supposing you allowed the skin and the superficial fascia to be put back on, you took away all this fascia around the rest of the leg, there would be no function. There would be no function of the entire body. There would be no uh, ability for you to stand on that leg once you removed that fascia, even if you left behind the iliotibial band. It, it, the function of the muscle would be gone. The function of the leg would be gone. The stability of the whole body would be gone. Um, and yet it's somehow in the bin and this amazing bit of iliotibial band is left behind. Kind of strange. I did it again. I forgot in that video that you've just watched to say, uh, please comment and uh, give me your feedback, ask me questions, um, like, subscribe, forward, do all the things you're supposed to do on social media. And um, I'm on the naughty step because I didn't say to do it before.